um, wrap to part three of our leave it and passing training, um, which is our October challenge. Um, so, so far we've introduced leave it um, and we've worked on that command in a stationary and pretty controlled environment. Um, the next part of that, as far as bringing it in in a format that's more reflective of sled dog racing, um, is to allow the dog more control in making that decision um, and also obviously um, in a scenario where the dog is running or walking or at least moving. Um, so for this section, um, depending on your setup at home, you, you probably want your dog on a collar, um, some sort of harness, so you can use their sledding harness or if you don't have one of those and you're just looking to do this um, with what you've got, you can use a walking harness. Um, a lead or line, um, you m may, depending on your dog and how controlled they are, you may want two, so uh, a shorter one and a longer one. Um, if you do need two, you will attach the longer one to the collar, you'll have the shorter one on, to, on the dog. Um, but we'll demonstrate both of those. And of course, um, you want your treats. And so if you are finding this really easy and your dog um, is pretty good, you may want to challenge them a little bit more and opt for a higher value treat instead of something plain and boring. Um, definitely give them a high value treat if they do the right thing. Um, but if you are finding it uh, really easy, often the things we want them to leave aren't dull and boring. So, um, you know, you can up the, the difficulty there and offer them something um, really tasty to leave. But yeah, so we'll show you a few different scenarios and we'll go for <clears throat> Okay, so once you've got your dog harnessed up, um, if you feel like you need two leads, this will generally be your setup. So you'll have a short one on the back, which you're gonna use um, to control your dog, I suppose. Or not really control them, but allow them to pull forward as you would in some dog sports. Uh, your second lead, uh, should you feel you need it, is gonna be on your collar. And that's only there um, as a correction tool. So. Um, when you give your leave it command, if your dog isn't leaving it and is going to go take the food, you can give a quick little tug on that and re-give uh, re your leave it command um, to distract them as they um, hopefully pass by and not eat that treat. Um, so that's going to be the general setup. If you uh, feel that you've got it and you don't need the second lead, um, then obviously you just take that one off the collar and you'll just control your dog um, using the one on the tug harness sorry, the harness tug, um, as you, you know, would have a setup for the dog spots. So that's um, how your equipment's gonna look. Um, and what we're gonna do, now that we've had the treat on the floor in a stationary position, um, we're going to um, have that same, or a treat on the ground, um, and we're going to practice passing it um, and giving that leave it command and having the dog not eat it in that scenario. Okay, so what we want to do um, is we want to place the treat on the ground. Um, this is going to be the treat that we are leaving, obviously. Um, have some treats on your person. Um, and what we want, we want the dog to know it's there um, because we want them to be tempted, I suppose. Um, but we don't want them to take that treat. Um, we want to walk them past it um, and you can reward them with the treats that you have on your person. Um, so again, like I said, if you think your dog doesn't have the control to walk past or obey you or leave it, um, you just keep that second lead on their collar. You don't need to control them by that. Um, you want them to be making the decisions, but you just want to give them, be able to give them a reminder um, should they go to take that treat that's on the ground. So uh, we had a bit of a practice with Luca and he wasn't <laughs> overly keen in the dog run, um, which is only about eight metres wide. Um, but we will see.
nice tasty treat. Pop it in your path, leave it. Take your dog distance where you can get a bit of a run up. 